This is the CNM book, a little mini uh, book sold by Maplins for £139. I bought it about two months ago and so far, apart from one missing pixel on the screen, it's gone fairly well. It takes uh, just 52 seconds to start up and it comes with a browser, an email client, Wi-Fi connection that worked for me first time, although I noticed on the website some people have problems. Um, an FB reader, which is quite interesting, you can load in a book, um, a word processor, uh, an Excel type spreadsheet, a PDF viewer, a little dictionary, um, calendar, calculator, and this is the, the word processor, which you can barely believe would be usable, but it, funnily enough, this is not too bad if you can stand the tiny keyboard. Um, the keyboard is, it seems to be quite robust, and I, I personally don't get on with tiny keyboards, but you can easily plug um, another keyboard in using a USB connector, uh, no problems. You can't load in more than three programs simultaneously because of the lack of memory. Um, I noticed when I was trying to watch YouTube, I couldn't, the videos didn't work, and when I emailed CNF Lifestyle, which is a company that supports it, they said that the latest version of Adobe is Adobe 10, uh, doesn't work with this, so YouTube have switched to that, and this presumably is using Adobe 9. It's got a media player, flash player, image gallery, a painting application, and um, uh, and um, various other things built into it. If you want to load more software, you go to the CNM Lifestyle site and download files, which you then have to blow onto a an SD memory card and plug it into a slot at the side. And there's a special sequence to start the machine up to load these files in. Um, it's got audio in, audio out connectors, power connector, hardwired internet, three USB slots, um, and also because it's got no hard drive in it, you can give it stick um, and you can't damage it. The battery, they say this is three hours, and I've got much more than three hours of it when I inadvertently let it on overnight, but the screen wasn't powered up then, so it all depends on the load. Uh, it switches off in under 10 seconds. So I think for the price, it's very good value for money.